Hi, it's Crystal Porter here. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Please click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Press the like button to like this channel. Um, click the notification button to um, get receive videos of my upcoming videos and comment any prayer requests, any prayers you would like to get answered on this channel or any prayers that have been answered on this channel or if you'd like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior um, comment that or if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior you can comment that or anything the Holy Spirit is ch telling you to share on our channel that needs to be addressed go ahead and comment that and we'll do our next video regarding that in the comment section we're gonna go ahead and get started and let's um, bow our heads in prayer Lord Jesus we just thank you for this day thank you for everyone here today there's someone here that has not accepted you as their Lord and Savior and would like to do so. We pray John 3.16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. We just welcome him to the kingdom of heaven and um, where we'll all get to see each other someday that have accepted Jesus and just thank you for that lord and we pray over the words you're going to speak through me today we thank you for this holy spirit report that was brought to us by a family member um, on our youtube channel and may the lord bless them for sharing with us and may the may um you be blessed as you hear the words that um, the holy spirit spoke through them to for me to say to you today and just give God, all the glory and praise in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you and pray. Amen. So, I will be um, looking down during this um, video so I can read to you what the Holy Spirit report is from one of our YouTube family members that gave um, the Holy Spirit gave them to share with us all today. So thank you, YouTube family member, for sharing this with us. And um, if any of you has anything to share with us, or, or the same person that sent this has another message, please comment that so we can share those in our next videos. All right, let's go ahead and get started. There is no the coming. It has happened. They have the strong delusion that is the virus that they took peace and safety from the minds of the goats to make them be in fear of nothing to pave the way for the coming mark of the beast and the persecution of the believers when Obama is back in power not voted in but uses what happens to Biden to heal his two term that are a deadly wound to the potion of power as head and leader of the USA beast and that is the fifth seal three and a half years persecution that is Daniel 725 which states in the Bible um, King James Version and he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time and the 42 months the spiritual temple the believers are trampled then Jesus comes in the sixth seal that is the second coming and first resurrection that is Ezekiel 37 so let's go ahead and read what it say, says in Ezekiel 37 um, which states in the Bible King James Version and it gives a vision of dry bones in the valley the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold, they were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, 
O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied there was a noise. And behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon him, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he had commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dried, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for, for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves, and cause you to come up out of your graves, and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up over your graves. And shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it, and performed it, saith the Lord. The parable of the two sticks. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick, and write upon it. For Judah, as for the children of Israel, his companions, then take another stick, and write upon it. For Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for the house of Israel, his companions. And join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thy hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in my hand. And the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thy hand before their eyes. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, then whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So they shall be my people, and I will be their God. And David my servant shall be king over them, and they shall all have one shepherd, and they shall also walk in my judgments, and observe my statutes, and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein. Even they, and their children, and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them, 
It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I will be their God and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know what I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. And that was the end of the Holy Spirit report. So I hope that um, you saw this in the spiritual with the, your spiritual eyes and a spiritual heart open to receive that and spiritual ears to hear um, this from one of our family um, YouTube family members Holy Spirit report and I just want to thank you for listening today and um, just thank the person uh, our YouTube family member that gave us the Holy Spirit report thank you for sharing with us may it bless you and all those that um, hear these words and until next time, bye!